Hi, this is Supreet from Drupal Doc. In the last tutorial, we saw how to use the Tiny MC editor in the Drupal using the WYSIWYG module. In this tutorial, we see how to upload your images from the local machine into the server and insert it into the Tiny MC editor. Okay, so let's click on configuration, WYSIWYG profiles and for full HTML click on edit now under buttons and plugins we'll enable image and save okay now if we go and try to add an article with the full HTML text format you should be able to see a gallery icon which is used to insert image we click on it we need to specify the image URL from which we want to display the image so I just have a sample URL so I'm just gonna insert it so the image is inserted into the editor so this is possible if the image is already present in the server or it is existing in a different website and we have a link to it if we don't have it and we need to upload the image from the local machine into the server and then use it and we need to follow a couple of more steps for that we need to use uh, enable two modules we need to install IMC module enable it and also the IMZ WYSIWYG API bridge these two mo modules have to be installed and enabled once that is done let us go to configuration again then WYSIWYG profiles edit for full HTML buttons and plugins here down below we have an option IMC now select it and save now if we go back to add content article and change the text format to full HTML now if we click on the gallery option we have another folder structure in browse option if we click on it we have an option to upload so by default it is showing the root directory of your Drupal folder so you can select one of the images from here or browse to any section for up this is the Drupal server folder structure and if you want to upload from a local machine you need to click on upload choose file select whichever browse to your folder location and select the file and upload and then it gets uploaded to the server and then we can select the image and insert which is gonna insert the image and to f go ahead and change the settings of the image alignment all that you can click on the image button again then go to appearance and we can set the appearance dimension vertical space and other CSS options here and I'm using the picture reloaded theme here for the demonstration which is a responsive theme and all the images that I uploaded into the editor using this process were by default responsive so that's it for today if you have any questions please leave a comment below do hit the like button and subscribe for our upcoming videos thanks again bye bye